Hi, hello, I'm Maria. This is Strong Body, Strong Soul. And right now, I wanted to talk with you about paying attention, being aware of things that are happening in the world sometimes that we have no control over at all, like mistakes that have happened in our past, mistakes from our ancestors, like horrific things like the Holocaust, slavery, Hiroshima. There are a lot of bad things that have happened in this world and there are things happening now that we don't have control over. But the way I teach meditation, I try and help people get in touch with their energy, be authentic, be true. And part of that is being aware of the bad stuff in life as well. And I am talking right now, specifically I want to talk to you guys, about what's happening in China. China and other countries. Population control. The abuse of science. Science used for horrific purposes. It happens, right? We are currently experiencing the effects of the Chinese government trying to control the population. They have 40 million men in China that have no one to get married to. Their population is skewed. They have too many men. Too many men. That sounds crazy, right? When I was a kid, you could they were trying to get rid of all the girls because they had way too many girls. They put the emphasis on boy children and they made a rule, a law that you required that families only have one child. And I just want to go over some of the scary things that have happened there because I think it's important for our own energy to be aware of what's going on so we can prevent it from happening where we live and make conscious d choices. Conscious choices. So if we see the consequences of such actions, maybe it will help us. So in the first 20 years that China had the one child per family rule, they actually enforced that. The government enforced their laws, their population control laws, by insisting that women, after they have one child, they had to make a choice. Do they want to undergo surgery to become sterile? Or do they want to have an IUD implanted in their bodies so they won't become pregnant? Horrible. Horrible invasion of privacy. Horrible in so many ways. Not only that, but the government enforced this by insisting that women who chose the IUD undergo ultrasounds to make sure that the, the IUD was placed correctly. The government actually tracked the women this way. Now, during the course of doing these ultrasounds, they also realized, of course, that if they did the ultrasounds on women, they could figure out, pregnant women, they could figure out what sex the baby was. And do you know that eight million estimated estimated eight million baby girls were aborted during the first 20 years of the population control laws in place horrific horrific not only that but once the government figured out that so many abortions were happening they made it illegal for doctors to tell parents what sex their baby was going to be so they required that two doctors be present in the room when an ultrasound was being performed and they did it under closed circuit TV. Can you imagine the government watching while the ultrasound is being performed? And if a doctor revealed the sex of the child to the mother, then they would lose their job. Now, sounds all horrible and let's bump up to current time. In the first generation of, of this population being skewed in this manner, it's really messing up their financial stability. I just read an article the other day by the Wall Street, Washington Post. The, the financial um, environment of the country is being affected. There are no women. There are not enough women there. And you would think that because the women are scarce, 
that treatment of the women would improve. They are more sought after, but it's not true. Unfortunately, there are reports that men in, men are treating the women worse than usual because there aren't enough of them to go around so they just give up and they're even ruder than usual to them in some cases. Also, the crime rate has increased so much. They call it the pacifying effect of marriage in the old days when adolescents and into their 20s, when men would um, participate in criminal activities, a lot of times when they get married and start to have children, those activities start to decline because they grow up and they provide for their family. It's not happening now. So a lot of the population, if they're on a crime spree, they, it continues, it continues. So the crime rate has gone up significantly. They have too many men right now. Seems crazy. It's also affected, of course, trafficking of female babies from other countries. There is a huge problem with human trafficking. So I only talk about this really dark side because I think it's important to be aware of it. And I'm talking with my kids so often about negative things that are happening in the world. We can't hide our head in the sand. Yes, I'm a meditation teacher, but you can't pretend that things are not happening out there. Even if you don't have time to do something about it in another part of the world, we can be aware of it where we are. I truly believe that science is meant to be a tool for good, just like this social media platform. But we need to be conscious about our use of it. We need to be aware of the consequences of bad decisions as far as science is concerned the science of reproductive health control of the population. It seems like science fiction, right? But this has been happening for 30, 40 years. And now we're seeing the consequences. So I just wanted to mention it and give you something to think about, uh, some awareness about what's going on in other parts of the world so we can learn. So thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you another time. And I'll see you soon.